we're back. Um, so I just want to take a quick second to talk about the Kickstarter campaign and all the pledges you actually had. So yep. range from $15 to the digital download, which I'm reading off here. Yep. <laughs> uh, $25 for the signed album. $50 for the perfect pledger. So when you get the actual album, you see your names on there. $8 or more got you the personal thanks. With that pack, they get like a thank you and we play them a song as well personally. So it's going to take yeah. a while. <laughs> Jamie's drum skin, were you yeah. cool with that going or...? Yeah, so uh, there was a couple of drum items up there, but yeah, yeah, I mean, it's all just kind of sentimental stuff that it means exactly. lots of people who are at that. Uh, one of the drum skins was from our first ever show yep. in Melbourne, so just things like that, kids that were there. So Contagious oh, is the one that you got rid of? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> and you still got your, I don't even know, Mape- what's a Mapex snare drum? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just an excellent brand of uh, drum. Yeah, so Mapex. Good, just, isn't it? Ah, Sona much better, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is sponsored. <laughs> this is all stuff I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> Certainly is sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> um, you got people spending five hundred and fifty dollars for a stage banner. Does that blow your mind? I mean, obviously, it's not just a stage banner; it's everything else under that, like yeah. the album. Yeah, the they get everything. Things. Yeah, under it. Um, yeah. yeah, that's crazy. That we that was a girl in Perth who just got it. I think three days ago. It's right. Like, it's like a giant. It's like a you know two by two meter banner. Seven hundred and fifty dollars or more for VIP as can be. Yep. Um, which is you and two friends join the bands for a whole day while touring city. How did that go? Yep. Um, so we haven't done them on this tour. We've got a tour Sorry. coming up in Feb, Feb March, which yep. will be a, a bigger tour. Twelve hundred dollars for an acoustic show in Victoria. Yep. D- like when you put that out there, did you think this one will sell or? Honestly, yes. Yeah. Um, yep. because like we've we've been hit up a lot. Like a lot. You, you wouldn't. You'd be surprised how many people inbox our like band Facebook page and mm. want to book us for like birthday and probably parties buy, or. They probably spend more than twelve. They, well, like, honestly, we haven't done them before this. Two thousand dollars for New South Wales. In Newcastle. Yeah, two of them. We had we had one in two. Newcastle wow. and one out in um. Like Western Sydney, yeah. the way the industry works, it's it's changed. Everything's changed. So I think you know, going at it this direct to fan kind of models the way forward. And it's smart, so, like money in advance. To yeah, fund and absolutely. Fund. I mean, it just it just takes away the stress element of it. You know, mm. being being a musician, there's already enough you know stress just trying to get the music done. Let alone having to whether yeah. it's you know however you're going to finance it. So if you can exactly. kind of eliminate the finance worry from it, you can just kind of focus on getting the art and the music right. Yeah, so, some you guys have to work during the week to sort of fund. Yeah, most right. yeah, most of us do. We all do things external. Or you, or you would have had to if you didn't do that. Yeah, yeah. DJ weddings. So yeah, actually, actually, that's pretty cool. <laughs> we were called the Pony Club DJs. No, you weren't. <laughs> serious. And we, we recruited Jamie um, every now and then too. And Brayden actually was big a big eighties DJ. Well, you you could be a wedding singer. Let's be honest. I could. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be anywhere near as good as Adam Sandler though. He's oh, amazing. that's a great movie. Um, you saw the video for the Kickstarter campaign. That was um, I saw we it filmed late. that. I saw it late. We filmed that ourselves in our in our garage. Molly acted. You were yeah, you were the, the actor, record, I label, so, yeah. record label exec. What's my team? You boys don't make me any money. Whoa, whoa, you guys are by far the worst band I've ever worked with. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's my money? I feel like you held back. <laughs> and, and, and we literally did that on a two hundred dollar budget. And we just went and did it because, yeah. like, that's that's how we want to be. We want to be a band who moves, and, and we want yeah. to be a band that delivers for our fans. We had a few struggles recording the album because Molly obviously got really ill, which we've been public take. about. Unfortunately, whilst the boys have been touring around the country for the album launch gig, Molly's had to step aside. I have, unfortunately. Would you please explain to the camera uh, what's yeah. been going on this year for you? So, um. It actually sucks. So we did our Kickstarter campaign. That all finished. And then about a week later, I got a stomach bug and was out for about 10 weeks. Uh, no, about, about a week with just a stomach bug. So like just really bad. Couldn't eat everything. Um, got better for a week. And then I've basically been sick for, for the last five months um, with a chronic fatigue syndrome. So I'm not not diagnosed just yet. I'm going to see to see a, a, a crazy doctor like, like end of this month. Um, but yeah, so if you don't know what it is, Google it. But I feel just pretty crappy all the time. Kind of feels like I'm hungover and stuff all the time and it sucks but yeah that's me <laughs> but also like you took on the lead producing role is that correct yeah yeah, yeah. So late nights i'm assuming so we just like bought a mattress into the studio and i'd sleep in the studio and just kind of sleep there wake up mm-hmm. do like an hour's work we all kind of worked together to get it done but um we, we stumbled through it but it turned out it turned out well so oh, incredible yeah. like the quality of your like production is unreal so yeah no thanks is that something you had much experience with before um, yeah, I've always been pretty, like, involved with our productions, sure. um, but I've never, like, this is the first time I've actually just done it all myself. Other songs in the past where we haven't produced them, sometimes you look back and go, I don't really like that, or yeah, there's a bit that I wish, I wish we'd changed, yeah, so it's, I think the fact that we could, you know, we, we took a little bit of time with it and got everything, it, like, it's, I wouldn't change anything in there, yeah. so it's good, it does feel good. Yeah.
Together we released a single, Douchebag Love, which is the first song, which we did all ourselves as well. Yeah, um, that's actually how I found out about it. Oh, great. I saw Douchebag Love. Well. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and basically, yeah, we've rolled into the album and we've now released the album and our fans have just been so supportive of, mm. of the music and, and, and it's really relieving for us to finally have that out and be playing it for people. What do you guys think about doing a track by track of Garden? We're, We're down. Can't hear me, but I would love to. Sure. <laughs> yes, I've got to talk you now, do I? you got to talk. Golden, number one.